Hey guys, so today we're going to be unboxing Shadow High's uh, Luna Madison. Yeah, it's right there. <laughs> uh, these dolls are really old, so I'm not going to bother, like, you know, really showing off anything. I just want to make a little video, you know, so that I can, like, you know, have something for it. Because, um, obviously I'm really late to this. Uh, party because these dolls were super expensive in Canada like super fucking expensive if you saw I got ash from my mom for Christmas because he was on sale decent mm, this entire line was on sale here in Canada for $24 I know down in the states some of them were like $9 some of them were $11 and whatnot and I'm sure there's been really good sales but here in Canada, that is really unheard of for these dolls to be that cheap. Because these started out at $50, pretty much. They were like 40, 44? I think it was 44 before tax, meaning they were like about 54 after tax. So these being $24 before tax, making them like, I think, 30 ish dollars total a piece. I don't know. I got two, and the two of them were 57 which is almost about the price of one. So, I got Ash from my mother, then I bought two more. I got Luna here, and we got another one to unbox in another video. So, let's start unboxing Luna. So, with Luna and Chanel... Oh my god, it... I guess I just revealed it, didn't I? What was the point of even trying to hide it? With Lag uh, Laguna, I almost called her Laguna. With Luna, oh, I fucked up the camera, shit. With Luna and Chanel, this does pretty much complete my Shadow High collection. Obviously, they are coming out with more dolls. Um, I don't collect every doll from every line. I only collect the ones that matter to me, so... You may notice that I do not have Natasha, um, if you, like, obviously follow my channel a lot. I do not have Miss Natasha. Um, I've said multiple times I don't like her. I've seen her in person. I actually, when I went looking for these dolls in store, because originally I was... Oh, ripped the box. Whatever, it's going in the garbage anyway. I already have the back of this. Um, when I was originally looking for these dolls in stores... Um, because I was looking for them. Because I was like, okay, I would rather... Or I would rather get them in stores. Because if I order them, they might come um, super jacked up. Uh, like my Luna's bangs did, as you might be able to see. Um, they're tiny as fuck. So I was going to uh, pick them out in stores. So I could pick out good ones. I went to like three different stores. One store just didn't have any shadow high dolls other than ash so then i went to the bookstore here in canada called indigo or chapters and they had both of them and then they told me that it was an online sale only so essentially i just couldn't buy them in stores i had to order them so then i went to our other walmart hoping that they would allow me to do it which here's her stand I was hoping they would allow me to do it, and they would. You could get them in stores for that price. Um, but essentially, they just only had Luna. And if I got Luna and then went online for Chanel, then I would have ended up paying extra money for the Chanel. So I was like, yeah, no, not happening. So I decided to just order them both. So in the end, I ended up with some pretty wonky bangs on my Luna. But, like, I guess in the end of the day, like, if I really hate them that much, I can just cut them off. If you're wondering why they're wonky, it's just because they're super tiny. She's, like, micro bangs. They're meant to be more, like, down to here. So someone just, in the factory, cut them way too short. So I guess I could technically rip them out. Um, that is a possibility, but I don't know. Kind of don't want to. But we'll see. So here's her second outfit, which I'm so excited for because this dress is so fucking cute. I love it so much. It's like definitely one of the best pieces. Um, and some of these sets. Look, why is this so hard to open? Just open. Thank you. 
Oh. I'm not keeping any of these boxes anyway. If you're wondering why I'm not keeping any, um, it's because I don't have space for it. I used to keep, like, as many boxes as I could, but I can't now. Anyway, what was I talking about? We talked about the online shopping, messy Luna bangs. But yeah, they were, like, $24. So I ordered both Chanel and Luna. And I ordered them online again because it was cheaper that way. Uh, and I got wonky-ass Luna bangs, sadly. But yeah, this is literally the cheapest they've, like, any of these dolls I think have ever been. Like, I don't know. It's hard to say that because I think that it actually may have been about the same price for Series 1. I think Series 1 was about the same price, I think. When I first started buying them, I think they were about the same price. Yeah, I don't remember. They were pretty close. Series 1 did go on sale, and it was much cheaper. I think it was like $35 each. So, I don't remember exactly how cheap they were. I just remember that they were quite cheap when I got into Rainbow High, because it was like, what? These dolls that I was kind of interested in trying out were on super, well, are on sale. So I went and I got them, and that's how I got into Rainbow High. And that's how we got the first Poppy video, and then Sunny, and then Violet, and then Skylar, and then completely went out of hand. Um, we got our second outfit out, so we're going to start snipping her out of the box. But yeah, these are, like, super cheap. You can still, I think, get them. I don't know. They were, I, like, when I say these are super cheap, I really... Like, if that's coming from me, you know... It, like, I'm speaking facts. Because this is about the price that you used to pay for, like, a Monster High doll. Like, of course, if you add tax, they're a little more expensive. But I think Monster High was... I'm probably, like, a little bit delusional, I won't lie. Because I was obviously a kid at the time when Monster High was, like, really in stores. But I think about the time Monster High initially launched, they were about $25.00 her doll probably before tax and brats i think was about the same making them a total of like maybe 30 so it's a lot more affordable for these dolls to be about 24 instead of you know their retail cost of like fucking 50 dollars which i'm gonna say this um these dolls are not worth their initial price i paid the initial price for heather because i loved heather and the only reason why I bought Heather myself for that price was because my mother could not find Heather and we couldn't find Heather for a long time in our stores. So when I found her, when I found Heather um, in a Walmart that was further away from us when we were, you know, out on my birthday thrift trip, if you saw my Heather video, I kind of talked about it. I found Heather and I just, I bought her because I was like, yes. Give me Heather. Um, so, yeah. My mother had gotten me um, Nicole. So that's why I have Nicole. So I have Nicole. I have Heather. I have Ash. And I have Luna. And I have Chanel. Oh, my God. She's so pretty, even despite her wonky bangs. I'm not someone who gets horribly offended by it. I'm just a little bit disappointed because I do prefer the longer bangs, but I'm not horribly offended by it. I'm more horribly offended by, like, her hair. Like, tendrils. Like, that offends me more because I've seen, like, the other ones and they're really pretty. But then this one's just, no. Anyway, she needs a hair wash. But yeah. Pretty. I love her. Slay. I love all the trash that they bring to my house as well. I still have, like, a full garbage can outside of my house that's, like, just filled with fucking Rainbow High and Monster High boxes from Christmas. So, now I'm just adding to it. There's a comb. And, yeah, that's, like, pretty much her entirely out of the box. But, yeah, I was really happy to get these. Um, Luna was definitely one of those dolls that, like, warmed up to me. I wasn't, like, her biggest fan of, at first. Like, I didn't hate her. But, you know, it took me a little longer for her to really grow on me. Because I'm telling you, like, Heather is still my top favorite. 
but she is so pretty. I love her. Again, as I said, the only doll I do not plan on getting from this line is Natasha, just because I don't like Natasha at all. I find that Natasha is, like, just way too washed out, um, color palette-wise and everything. Like, she's just too white, if you know what I mean. Because, like, there's, like, no dimension to her. Like, the very few, like, shades that they use to do her face, like, it just doesn't work for me. So, yeah. Oh, look at that nice ball of hair. Yeah, Luna needs a lot of work uh, cleaning up, but I love her. She is so pretty. Sorry, I'm literally just making sure the video is still recording. But yeah, here is her jacket, her second outfit jacket. It's really cute. Not my favorite, but it's still really cute. And then this is like, I love this so much. I love this. I will be using this immediately on someone. I don't know who. But I love it so, so much. It's so cute. It's so adorable. I love it. And then these shoes, which I don't hate. But I'm not going to say, like, they're the best Rainbow High shoes ever. They're just okay. Plus, they'll be easier to get on and off than some of the other ones, which I appreciate. And we got Luna's outfit here, which I really like. The Ariana Grande-esque reference in her body suits this is like very much something ariana wore on tour along with like the stupid weird gloves which i don't i'm not a fan of these gloves mostly just because they don't look that good um they look pretty poor quality uh same with her socks that are under her shoes but oh well she also has the same earring mold as her sister, Sunny. And yeah, Sunny's also one of my favorite characters. Well, I always say characters, but, like, honestly, what I mean is dolls. Like, honest, like, I don't watch the show. But, yeah, I was so excited to see these dolls went on sale, so I got pretty much the rest of the line. Mm -hmm. Thank you all for watching the Luna Madison unboxing video. They honestly don't come with a whole lot, especially not Luna, like a dress, a jacket, a pair of shoes, and a comb, and then a stand, I guess. Like, honestly, it's not a whole lot. So, definitely more $20 worth than, you know, the original price, but yeah. Hey, thank you all so far. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye bye Time to go film Chanel's and then fix these bitches' hairs.